Let's talk about disinformation. The um, Russian invasion of Ukraine provides an opportunity for some introspection, which we want to do right now. It's very easy and common for us in the United States to hear, oh, the North Korean people are being told this and they believe it. Or the Russian people are being told this and they believe it like Russia's invasion of Ukraine is a moral and correct action because it's all neo Nazis in Ukraine and there's bio labs and they want to be Russian anyway, you know, whatever. And we we hear that. And many of us say <laughs> these people, how do they fall for this stuff? You know, we're we're Americans. We don't fall for this sort of sort of stuff, but actually many Americans fall for exactly this, this sort of stuff. So the context is how could they really believe that? Uh, here is Julia Yaffe on MSNBC saying, hey, you know what? It happens in the United States too. take a listen to this very, very interesting discussion with Stephanie rule. You know, every time I'm asked by Americans, you know, do Russians really believe this stuff? Like, how can they believe this stuff as if we don't have the same thing happening here? You have what, 40 percent of the population that of the American population that was convinced just in one year that Donald Trump actually won the 2020 election. Right. Russians have been subjected to this kind of disinformation for far, far longer. So it shouldn't be all that surprising. Americans fall for it, too, pretty easily. True. That this is a really this is a big topic. When one of the earliest stories I remember where I said, wow, people just believe stuff without evidence all the time was in the aftermath of the invasion to the Iraq war of 2003. There was it's it's ingrained in my mind like it was just yesterday. I remember covering it in, in the early days of the show in 2005, 2006. Um, there was a study done by PIPA, which asked Americans basically three fundamental questions. Who did 9-11? Are were WN uh, weapons of mass destruction found in Iraq? And does the world generally approve or disapprove of the American invasion of Iraq? And we found the study found that Fox News viewers, people who primarily got their information from Fox News, were far more likely to believe, yes, uh, we did find weapons of mass destruction in Iraq when we did not. They were far more likely to believe, yes, Saddam was responsible for 9 11. And they were far more likely to believe that the global community approved of the American invasion of Iraq, which it did not, which it did not. That, that it was factually untrue. Uh, and nothing has really changed. In fact, it's kind of gotten worse with social media echo chambers and filter bubbles in the last couple of years. Yes, of course, the Trump one thing. So many Republicans falling for it. Trump actually was the winner of the 2020 election, but also beliefs about vaccines. Right. Uh, much of the country believes the pandemic is over and yet a thousand Americans are dying a day. And we're going to look at some record case numbers later on in the program today. We seem to be heading for another spike. The only question is, how big will it be? Um, it's been how many generations since the Civil War? And we still have, I mean, conservatively, some tens of millions of Americans who believe the Civil War was not about preserving slavery. They, they've fallen for that. And that's hundreds of years ago and on and on and on. A huge portion of Americans believe demonstrably untrue things. And yet we laugh at Russia that some people have fallen for decades of Kremlin propaganda or we, we laugh at North Korea. Now, there's one other layer to this, which is that in many of these countries, let me see how I can say this in the U.S., there's really no repercussion to admitting you believe a lot of this stuff. All, you know, occasionally there will be sort of like social consequences you'll be laughed at. And if what you say is really, really vile, you might lose your job. But generally speaking, in the U.S., if people believe Trump won the 2020 election, they'll just say it in countries like Russia and North Korea. To some degree, the people, even if they don't believe this stuff, are more likely to say that they do because the repercussions can be more serious for saying, I don't believe what the government's telling me. So in reality, it may actually be worse in the United States. And what I mean by that is when you ask people in Russia and North Korea and China, whatever else, do you believe this thing? Some of the people who say yes are saying it to stay on the good side of the government, 
which is not really a factor here in the United States. So as much as we point and say, how do they believe this stuff? It's probably a worse problem here in the United States. We have a situation right now where many companies want and need to hire people quickly, but it is difficult to find the right candidates and workable is going to help. Workable accelerates every step of your hiring process. Workable helps you cast the widest net possible by posting your jobs to over 200 of the top job boards with just one click. It helps you evaluate and hire quickly with modern tools like video interviews and e signatures. You can automate some of those repetitive tasks like scheduling interviews, whether you're hiring for your coffee shop or your engineering team. Workable is exactly what you need to hire the right people fast. Start hiring today with a risk free 15 day trial. If you hire during the trial, which many do, it will cost you nothing. Just go to workable dot com slash podcast to start hiring. The link is down below.